Okay, so my name is Heidi, and I'm here to talk to you about why equal marriage is important. But before I talk to you about why it's important, I'm going to start with my experience and why it's important to me. I came out when I was 20. I came out to my parents at 21 and was kicked out of their house. I've been kicked out of two churches. I've been legally separated without having the right to marry. I protested for marriage in Annapolis, on Baltimore City's Capitol Hill, and done the March on Washington. I sing in an LGBTS community chorus. I run an online blog for um, LGBT Christians, and I have participated in the It Gets Better project to help prevent uh, teen suicides through LGBT youth. So it, this is a really important thing for me. Equal marriage has um, a lot, the language means something. Um, so when a couple gets married, there are over 400 benefits at the state level and over 1138, and 1138 benefits at the federal level that are available to that couple just by going to the courthouse and filing that paperwork. Um, it's possible for same-sex couples to hire a lawyer and get some of those benefits, but it's impossible to get all of those benefits. Tax breaks, um, Medicaid, the, the ability to sue for wrongful, wrongful death, um, insurance benefits, pensions, Social Security, etc. The difference between equal marriage and, um, and civil unions is exactly the word marriage. So a lot of the argument from the opposition is, well, if it wasn't called marriage, that would be okay. Well, here's the problem. Civil unions only give the benefits at the state level. They don't give any benefits at the federal level. Therefore, if the civil union is legal in Maryland and I move to Pennsylvania, the union is no longer recognized or legal, and if something happens, then that couple is denied or can be denied all of their rights, no matter how much paperwork they have. So on a federal level, equality under civil marriage is incredibly important. Um, the opposition um, presents a religious argument um, stating that it's against the Bible. Um, well, here's the deal. I don't really need to get married in your church. so. If, you know, civil marriage is a civil right. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with, um, with, with the people, with, with other people's religion. It has to do with that particular couple. Um, it says that it weakens the, they say that it weakens the institution of marriage. Well, so does Britney Spears, um, Larry King, Liz Taylor, Newt Gingrich is the, is the latest one in the news. Um, so really allowing the, LGBT community to marry doesn't do anything to the institution of marriage. Um, I love this argument. What's next? Um, like people are going to start marrying animals or bringing poly you know polygamy back because that's really the next the next best thing. Um, and the the other arguments are that it weakens family values and that two people of the same gender can't raise children. Um, that it causes gender confusion and there's there's um, gender roles that are confused. Search on YouTube. Uh, there's there's a really great video of a guy in Idaho who was married, who was uh, raised by two lesbians, and he gave a great court speech, mm -hmm. and it's on YouTube. Um, and there are a lot of great testimonies out there. There's also a study out there that says that same-sex couples who adopt um, actually care more about their children than people who accidentally have kids. Um, you know, it's it because it takes that much more effort to to have that adoption. Um, and civil marriage will allow both parents to be adopted, will allow both parents to adopt a child, whereas a civil union, only one person could be, you know, the, the adoptive parent of that child. So if something happens to the other parent, then that child is not protected. Yeah. So to sum it up, it's not going to do anything to your marriage. Um, it's not going to do anything to your religion. It's a civil right. It's about... Um, it, it, it's about the people having equality. Um, and we're everywhere. We're your first responders, we're your military personnel, friends and family who've been sitting in your classroom all semester. Um, and it's, like again, again, it's about civil rights and being treated equally under the eyes of the law. Thank you. Nice work.